After enduring five months of increasingly aggressive Viet Cong activity in the area of the American air bases at Da Nang and Chu Lai, the Marines are on the lookout for a decisive set-piece battle that will crush the guerrillas. When intelligence gathered from Viet Cong deserters reveals that communist forces are massing for an early autumn attack on Chu Lai, the stage is set for the first major combat operation of the Vietnam War. Codenamed Operation Starlight, this preemptive strike on the massing Viet Cong consists of a two-pronged attack, with marine landing craft hitting the beaches south of Chu Lai and helicopters assaulting the hill overlooking the link-up point near the hamlet of An Quang. The Viet Cong resistance is fierce, and the high-spirited but inexperienced Marines rely on naval gunfire, air support, and artillery to help them extricate the tenacious VC from their hillside bunkers. After two days of hard fighting and a week of mop-up operations, the Marines succeed in their goal, destroying the 1st VC Regiment and underlining American military dominance of the main force Viet Cong. Although the Marines suffer casualties, they inflict more than 10 times as many on the enemy, a lopsided ratio that will continue throughout the conflict. Dear son, I hope this letter finds you well. From the news, I gather there's a lot more fighting coming up. I hope you can avoid most of the danger. So, Pat Hodges finally got there. Looks like the old team's back together again, huh? Tell him I said hello. On a more serious note, your younger brother's been getting into a bit of trouble lately. Jamie couldn't get a scholarship the way you did, and he hasn't found any steady work since school ended. I tried to interest him in something at the plant, but he'd rather hang out with his do-nothing buddies. One of them got himself arrested the other week, and the police were over the house questioning Jamie. I don't know what we can do about him. I'm sure you have enough to worry about over there, but I thought you'd like to know. Maybe you could send Jamie a letter when you get a chance. Try to give him a kick in the ass. Remember, your mother and I love you and miss you a lot. Stay safe. Love, Dad. All right, we're touching down on the beach. You three legs must clear the beach before we can drop off the rest of our men. Those marsh monkeys are dug in, so expect some serious heat. Looks like our ass is going to be in the hurt locker today. Dang that, some number 10,000 shit. Boss, you okay? Just praying. You ever do that, Hodges? Clear those guns in before the strike is 
Copy that, Red Dog 2. Now give me one second here. Damn this map, piece of shit. Six, we need to move our position. Red Dog 3's moving right up our ass. Relax for a minute, 2. Keep your shorts on. You must be Red Dog 3. Six, this is 3. We're right on top of Red Dog 2. We're both awaiting orders. Apparently not. Who are you guys again? Uh, we're 4, sir. Four, right, I know. You guys need to get up this hill. There are a few patrols already up there clearing out tunnels and bunkers that the artillery couldn't knock out. It's pretty hairy. Good luck. Six, two. We're pulling our butt up here. Waiting orders. God damn it! Give me two fucking seconds to think here! With all due respect, sir, it appears there's a log jam on the hill. Due respect? Pretty far fucking from it. I am the one in charge here. Now get your asses up that hill! Get out of my sight. That's our six on this mission. Shit. We are seriously fucked, my brothers. You think they parked his butt behind a desk somewhere? Jesus Christ, that was close. Fucking six needs to double check his cords.
out for a heart, but not a medevac. I'm cool. Ladies got here just in time. We gotta push on up that hill. Artie strikes have been softening it up for us, but Charlie is dug in and extremely agitated.
Never put my fucking men in harm's way again. I'll put you down for good. Jesus Christ, you're crazy! What seems to be the problem over here? Lieutenant Trasic? Nothing, sir. Lieutenant McFadden? Nothing, sir. That's what I thought. Lieutenant Trasic, we are missing a support column of armor somewhere to the north, between this hill and the village of Ankua. You take your men down there and look around. Radio back when you find them. Move out. Yes, sir. McFadden, I'd like to have a word. McFadden. The bastard dropped out of Dartmouth, but his rich dad he couldn't keep his ass out of the Nam. Son bitch probably racked up more friendly kills than we got VC. I shit you not. <laughs>
Charlie's scanning out in a hurry. They may be trying to get to that colony. That's smart thinking, Hodges. Saddle up, Grunge. Let's get down there and check it out. Hurry up, goddammit! Uh, I know it's bad, I've Medic! seen it. Oh, God damn it! I'm oh, fading. Oh, oh shit! I can't I'm believe this. Get out of here. Sugar. Here's a letter in my pocket. Take it, I don't want the blood to die. Give it to my girl. We've done good today, man. We've done good. Oh, <laughs> 
gone. But we are alive. Everyone here is alive. Jamie, I know I haven't written you very often since I've been over here, but I figured Mom and Dad would keep you up to date. I'm sure you must be tired of hearing them talk about me, so I thought I'd write you direct. You probably heard on the news we had our first big fight against the Viet Cong. You wouldn't believe the kinds of tunnels those bastards did. We had to fight our way up a hill that was crawling with them. We lit up the entire hill with artillery, but we still had to fight for every inch of it. We were all scared as hell, but most everyone I know got through it. Except our lieutenant, Zook. He took it in the chest and died right there. Jamie, I can't explain to you how hard it is to see a close friend die in front of your eyes. Zook was always watching out for us and treated us all like Marines, no matter what our color. One time, he carried one of our KIAs about a quarter of a mile through enemy fire on his own shoulders. Things feel a lot different now that he's gone, and we all have to watch out for each other. I'm telling you this because I hear you have some problems at home. Whatever you think you're dealing with, I'd be happy to trade places, bro. Mom and Dad have enough to worry about, and they don't need any extra shit from you. Try to pull it together so you don't wind up in jail. Or worse, over here. Your brother, Dean.